Hey guys, it's Jess. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take your limp, nappy, old and crusty weave and turn it into a new and improved, curly, bouncy, luscious, beautiful weave or wig by using these purple flexi rods that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put the wig on my wig head and wig stand that I got from Sally's as well and brush it through, get all those naps and kinks out so that we can have a more polished look when we get onto the curling part. I'm going to use these clips that I got from Sally's as well to separate the hair just to make it easier and I'm going to put it in just a quick section up on top really quick just so that we can get started. So I'm going to start with like a medium size, maybe it's kind of like a small size. Um, piece of hair, brush it through, and then I'm going to kind of twist it in between my fingers, not an actual twist twist, but just kind of like twining it. I don't know how to explain it, but you can see it right there in between my fingers from the top to the bottom. And then, and this part is actually optional because it kind of made it a little difficult to take down at the end, which I'll show you later, but I did find it gave it a more defined curl. So I'm just going to roll it on the, from the bottom and then um, I'm going to secure it. And I know I'm kind of out of the camera on this part, but I'm going to do it again so that you guys can see a little better. I just wasn't paying attention, so I apologize. But um, we're going to just roll it up um, all the way to the top until you have no more hair left. And then you're going to secure it at the top. Here's just a close up of what it looks like when it's done. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys one more time so you can really see what I'm doing. So again, brush out the naps at the bottom and then we're gonna twirl it and you can use it in between your index finger and your thumb finger to just kind of roll it up to get a really defined curl look, like a tight curl pattern. And then do it from the top all the way down to the bottom to the ends of the hair. Now you're going to wrap it around the bottom and I found that if you roll it in the same place, like about twice, it holds it a lot better than just starting and rolling up. So you're just gonna roll it in the same place twice and then you're gonna fold the flexi rod up to secure it in place a little more securely. And then you're gonna proceed to rolling it up the shaft, can I call it a shaft, <laughs> of the curling, the flexi rod. And then you're gonna secure it on top again. took me about an hour and 15 minutes to put all the flexi rods in. I used about 50 flexi rods and I had to squeeze in two perm rods in the back, but we're not gonna say nothing on that. So now we're just gonna sneak into our mom's kitchen and use her favorite pot to boil the water so that we can put our hair in. Um, I'm gonna put a top over the pot so that the water can boil a little bit faster. And y'all, it was 3.40 in the morning when I was doing this, so I was so tired, I'm not even gonna lie. But um, it took about maybe 10 minutes for the pot to boil. Please be careful doing this part because this water is super hot and if you burn yourself, I'm not responsible. So I'm just gonna put the wig in and I got this method from another YouTuber and I will leave her, uh, her video in the description box. She did it with perm rods and I thought it was really cute so I tried it with flexi rods. So I'm just gonna dip the hair in with this utensil and kinda just push it down to make sure it's all getting taken care of. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the pot and put the top over it so it can kind of steam up and make sure it gets every curl in there. I would leave it for about three to five minutes, but I kind of dozed off and it was in there for like 20. But thankfully my hair, synthetic hair, did not melt. <laughs> it was okay. So now I'm just drying it off with a towel and trying to kind of get some of the water out and some of the steam off so that I don't burn myself. Please be careful. So I left it on my wig head for about a day. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the takedown. It's fully dry, it was about 20 hours that I left it on. And it's fully dry, so we're just gonna take it down now. 
So I take it down by, um, oh, oh, look at the cute curl. Okay, so I take it down by opening the flexi rod on both sides and just kind of twirling it or like unwinding it in whichever way, the opposite direction of which I winded it in the first place. Here's a close-up of how the curls came out. As you can see, they're very tight and very defined. And I think that's because of the twisting method that I did. And now we're just gonna go ahead and separate. I got the wig on, looking like George Washington. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and separate these now. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. It took me about three curls to figure out that I had to twist the hair in the opposite direction that I twisted it in the first place to kind of loosen them up so that it would be easier to separate. And even still when I got to the bottom it was kind of difficult to separate the curls but I'm going to fix that more towards the end of the clip and you'll see how I do that. here I'm just kind of finger combing it trying to get um, some more of the curls loose and not have such a defined look so I'm just gonna use, go through with my fingers and kind of separate any pieces that it seems that I have missed and now we're just gonna go ahead and kind of lay these edges up a little bit make the part look a little more realistic I'm adding some concealer to the part So now that the look is starting to come together a little more, you can see that I'm feeling myself. Um, I'm out here, look at me, singing, dancing, don't know how to act. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the edge, the end of the, the end, what am I saying? The ends of the hair, the parts that got a little straggly when I was separating the curls. So just go ahead and snip those off. And whenever you're separating, if any parts give you trouble towards the end, don't be afraid to just cut those off. And it kind of, you know, frames the hair, frames my face and shapes the hair a little better also. So that kind of worked out perfectly. So just go ahead and separate what needs to be separated and snip what needs to be snipped. here's a side profile and ugh, I don't know who I'm looking at like that like no respect <laughs> but this is pretty much how the hair came out and I think it looks pretty good so thank you so much for watching my review on this no this is a tutorial thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to curl a synthetic wig with with flexi rods um, to be honest I would probably prefer to do it with perm rods just because, I don't know, it got a little tangly with the like, intertwining. And you know what, I, if I were to do it again, I would try it without um, like rolling up the hair because I think it would still curl just as fine because when you're taking it out, you have to unroll it and then it kind of gets tangled at the end. That's why I used the scissors to cut off the ends, but I think it actually looks a lot better in a short version. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course the comment, don't have me up here talking to myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I think it's kind of cute. Why am I not killing this wig? Or, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, why do I look bomb? I'm kind of upset.